On January 12, 2010, at 4.53 p.m., a 7.0 magnitude earthquake hit just west of Port-au-Prince, Haiti. The U.S. Navy, led by USS Carl Vinson and Carrier Air Wing 17, and crew members immediately began the job of delivering needed assistance. We are proceeding at best speed, over 30 knots to Haiti, because the speed is essential to get there, and also that we bring uh, organic lift capability, essential lift capability for humanitarian relief supplies and people. So that's what they know, and that's what our mission is right now. Helicopters from Vincent transported the injured to the ship where teams of highly trained Navy medical personnel worked around the clock to help those in need. So we're going to have a medical team that, you might, that might be almost similar to a fleet surgical team that's going to stay on board. That's where the operating room is and this is where we can do surgeries in case we need to. We have two medical response teams that are going to be going out and rotating. They are composed of a physician and a dentist and all the support personnel that they need. I'm working in the ICU, so the intensive care unit. Uh, so we take care of uh, the sickest patients, both coming through the casualty receiving area, as well as uh, people coming out of the operating room. Down in the dental clinic, we have five uh, chairs, dental chairs, and we could do field uh, dentistry out at the shore and maybe uh, touch uh, more Haitian patients and make an impact uh, dental-wise. As the surgeons and others worked aboard Vincent, another Navy ship was headed to Haiti as well to offer assistance. The USNS Comfort, a floating hospital ship with over a thousand beds, arrived on the scene within days. Each nurse has about uh, probably four ICU patients. Um, a lot of them are intubated, sedated, um, a lot going on. Um, in the whole ICU, we have four ICUs with a total of 80 ICU beds. Um, so we have the capability of taking care of 80 ICU patients. Um, we have less than that right now, but we continue to get more and more patients each day. Well, one of the unique things about me is that I'm the only physician on board the USNS Comfort who is a native of Haiti. Um, so I do speak the language, so I can speak to the patients directly without the use of an interpreter. Uh, the patients tend to be, get very excited and very happy when they notice that they have a Haitian-speaking physician. So I think that in itself uh, does make a big difference on the mission. No one knows when a disaster will strike, but the highly trained medical personnel of the U.S. Navy stand ready for whatever may come. Around the globe, the U.S. Navy is more than ships and planes, it's people who are trained and dedicated to making a difference in the lives of those in need. For Navy medical officers, it's the job of a lifetime.